Welcome back to Cultural Cooking. Today's culture is China and we'll be making Chinese almond cookies. Hi everyone and welcome back to Cooking with Kaylee and Teresa. And today we're focusing on the culture of China. For China, we're going to be making a dish called Chinese almond cookies. So the almond cookies were adapted from walnut cookies. It's a very simple cookie dough recipe and an almond is added in the center of each cookie for good luck. We're gonna start off by going through a few of the ingredients we're gonna need. So of course, you're going to need almonds, egg, butter at room temperature, almond extract, salt, baking soda, sugar, and flour. The tools you will need are a stand-up mixer, or you can use a hand mixer if you do not have one. You will need some bowls, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a brush for your egg whites, and a little whisk. And don't forget your cookie sheet and parchment paper. Now we're gonna go ahead and tie up our long hair if it goes past your shoulders, you should tie it up and make sure we're washing our hands. Now we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven by pressing bake, three, two, five, or 325 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're gonna let it preheat while we make our cookie dough. So we're gonna start off by taking our egg, a bowl and a whisk, and we're just going to crack our large egg into the bowl. So the way you crack is you hit it on the side, you put your two thumbs in the crack, Flip it and then pull it apart. And then you wanna make sure there's no shells and take out any shells. Now you're gonna take your whisk and you're just gonna beat it until you can't tell the difference between the clear and the yellow part or the egg white and the egg yolk. Now we're gonna take another bowl and our one tablespoon and we're just gonna take a scoop of the egg out so that we can use it later for our egg wash. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our stand mixer, your hand mixer, if you'd rather just mix with your um, bowl and a spatula. And we're gonna grab our sugar. So I'm taking a half cup measuring cup and putting it in the sugar, filling it all the way up and then wiping it across so it's nice and flat. And then I'm gonna add that into my stand mixer. And we're gonna add our butter to the stand mixer as well. Just plop it in. Now we're gonna beat it until it's light and fluffy. So I'm just gonna put it on. So you wanna beat your butter and your sugar until it's light and fluffy like this. Remember how we separate our eggs? We are going to take the bigger bowl that has more and we're gonna add it to our butter and our sugar. So just pour it all in. And then we're gonna turn it on again and let it beat together. So now we're gonna do our almond extract and we're going to take our half teaspoon measuring spoon. And I always pour over a bowl so that if anything spills out, it's not on the counter. And we're gonna slowly pour and then carefully bring it to our mixer and pour it in. And then you can turn your mixer back on. Now it's time to mix all of our dry ingredients. So first we wanna get the flour and our measuring cup. This is one cup. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to scoop up the flour, all of the excess flour. You just wanna place your finger right on top and you wanna push all of the excess flour and put it into the bowl. So that's one cup, and now we need a half a cup. So again, you just want to scoop the flour, place your finger on top, and push the excess flour off, and put it into your bowl. So now that we have one and a half cups of flour, we want to go ahead and add our salt. So we're going to need quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And 
and add it to the bowl. Now it's time for the half a teaspoon of baking soda. So now we have our ingredients in the mixer and then we have our dry ingredients that Teresa just measured in our green bowl. So a cool trick to add our ingredients to the mixer is you wanna take a measuring cup, any size, and we're gonna scoop it. Doesn't have to be perfect this time because everything's already measured and then just add it slowly to the bowl so you don't spill everything as you're adding. So this is really good for any kids to help mom, dad, sister, anyone in the kitchen while you're cooking. And then we're gonna turn on our mixer and this one we just wanna put it on low so everything mixes together. And then we're gonna have our dough. So now that our dough is all mixed up, we are going to take a ball or take a pinch and we're gonna roll it into a ball. Teresa, you wanna grab some? So you're just gonna use your hands and roll it until it's a ball, like Play-Doh. Pretend you're playing a Play-Doh. That's my ball and then I'm gonna place it on my cookie sheet on top of the parchment paper. And then when you're placing the next one, you wanna leave some space so that when you flatten it down, it has room to grow. So we're gonna leave space and do the next one. And then just keep doing that until there's no more room on your cookie sheet of time. Okay, so at this time, you can either grab a cup or you can use your measuring cup or you can use the palm of your hands to go ahead and smash each cookie. So I'm going to show you both. You can do a cup. So I'm just going to press down if it gets stuck, that's okay. You can just use your hands to take it off and you're going to have a disc. If you don't wanna use this cup, you can use the palm of your hand. Now it's time to add the almonds for good luck. So you're going to take one almond at a time and you're going to place it directly in the middle of the cookie and you want to push down a little bit so then it bakes all together. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five. And keep counting to see how many fit on your tray. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now we're gonna take the egg that we took out separately before and you can add a little bit of water to it, just a tiny bit and mix it together. And now you're going to use a brush and brush on top of the cookie. So just a little dip and brush and repeat this for all the cookies on your tray. Now our cookies are ready for the oven. Now that our cookies are ready for the oven, we're gonna take our oven mitt and put it on our hand. And we're gonna grab our cookie tray with our other hand. We're gonna open our oven all the way open. And now we're gonna slide our cookie tray in with the oven mitt and then close the door all the way shut. You wanna let your cookies bake for about 14 to 16 minutes or about until they're golden brown. Place in oven and let bake at 325 degrees until golden brown. Now it's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna turn off our oven. We're gonna open our door all the way. Using our oven mitt, we're going to grab our tray and you can see the beautiful golden color on our cookies. And now we're gonna place on top of the stove because there's nothing around that will burn and close our oven all the way shut. This is what your cookies should look like when they come out of the oven. Now you can put it on a plate and serve it. Thank you for watching and enjoy your Chinese almond cookies.